Hey guys, it's Catherine and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you're new, hey, what's up? Stay to the end of this video and subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, I'm trying to post more often now since it's quarantine. I have a time. <laughs> So yeah, I don't want to talk too much during this video because my last video was super, super long. So we're just going to get right into it. But this is the Instagram followers choose my makeup. I had posted on my Instagram a bunch of different products and I asked you guys to choose and this is what you chose. So keep watching. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to participate in future Instagram followers choose my makeup and just like want to see my content. So I'll have it somewhere on the screen right here so yeah let's get into the video okay so I went ahead and did one eye off camera just so I can kind of see what I want to do but yes this is what it looks like as of right now I'll tell you what you guys chose so for eyeshadow you ended up choosing the violet boss hashtag pro palette I'm gonna put a screenshot of the results right here so it was 60 40 so that's what i use for this also you guys said to do a blown out eyeshadow and that one was really cl uh, close so it was 51 percent blown out 49 cut crease you said to add glitter so i added some glitter and that's about it for now i didn't really ask about eyeliner because i didn't feel like doing colorful eyeliner so i just went ahead and did a wing anyways because i felt like I needed one so yes we're gonna continue you guys also chose the Tarte shape tape concealer so that's what I'm using to prime my eyelids all right like I said you guys chose the violet boss hashtag pro palette this is what it looks like it's a super pretty palette so the shades I'm gonna be using so I don't have to show you like five times I'm using this oh also ignore my nails they're really bad ignore them I'm using the shade sauce which is kind of a warm tone brown then I'm using goat which is a deeper brown I'm gonna use life then TBT and that's it from this palette because then I added glitter so yes we're gonna start with that so first I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and go in with the shade sauce and just pack that in my crease drag it out a little into a v-shape Kind of went really messy with this but made sure that it was super super blended because we're doing a blown out look now i'm taking this more precise brush and going in with goat which is the deeper brown and i'm just going to use that to deepen the crease Then I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush that I used to put the transition shade and I'm gonna use that to blend the two brown colors together. Next, I'm gonna take this tiny little detail brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Life and kind of put that in my crease as well and kind of more into the lid, but I'm gonna keep it super close I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go back in with um, the more precise brush and blend out the brown shadow with the purple. Also, I have my window open, so if you hear any noises, I'm sorry for that, but it's really hot in my room for some reason, so yeah. And finally, taking the fluffy brush and blending everything out. Who is honking like a madman? Oh my god. The key to blown out shadows to make sure you blend everything really, really nicely so that there's no harsh lines. Because cut crease, you're really like trying to get that angle, you know? You're trying to get a crisp line. This one, you're just packing on shadows and making sure it's blended lastly from the violet boss palette i'm going in with tbt which is a more fuchsia pink purple and i'm gonna pack that right on the outer part of the eye and then kind of put like a little bit in the crease going in i don't know how to really explain that hopefully you can see what i'm doing then i'm gonna go back in with the brush that i used to put the life purple shadow and just blend that 
together. Okay, once you're happy with the blending, it's time for the fun part. We're gonna add some glitter. So, I chose two ColourPop Super Shock shadows. One is in Soul Shalize, and it's this, oh, you won't be able to see it, but it's a really pretty purple. Can you see that? I don't know, anyways. And the other one, I don't know why I just closed it. The other one is in Ladybird, and it's kind of this like champagne, I wanna say glitter you, can't, you won't be able to see that at all but that's what that looks like so i kind of layered them together if you could see on this eye and it's so pretty oh my god i wish they sold ColourPop like in canada without me having to pay a ton of duties but that's fine so i'm just gonna take it on my pinky since i don't have nails and i'm just gonna press it on my lid the fun part about this is that you don't have to be super precise because it's a blown out look. So just go crazy with the glitter. I even took it past the crease on this side because it's a blown out look and I really like that look. Then I'm gonna go in with the champagne -y color and just pop that right on top. Ugh, that just adds the extra oomph that I was looking for, you know? Wow, there it is. I'm really off to the side, I'm so sorry. Now, like I said before, I didn't ask you guys about liner, but I went ahead and added a liner anyways, and for that, I'm using my trusty Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. I love this liner. I'm in the hunt for a new one though, because I want to branch out, because I only use this one, so let me know if you guys have any favorite affordable liquid liners. My eyeliner is never even. I'm gonna learn to accept that and we're gonna move on. So for lashes, let's get my phone out. Let's see what you guys chose. Okay, for lashes, 67% of you chose double up lashes, which is the dramatic pair. I kind of knew you were gonna choose that one. So yeah, so, so I'm gonna be using the Ardell double up 204 lashes. That's what they look like. Let's hope I can put them on properly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut like I always do and I'll come back to you guys to start with the face. Update on the lashes. I had tried to use these a while back and I cut this one too short. So this one is like the correct size. This is too short. I also had problems with this one because it had dried up glue that I never cleaned. Hmm. It might look wonky and I feel like this eye always looks wonky. So yeah please forgive me but we're gonna move on to the face so for primer you guys chose the tatcha where is it tatcha the silk canvas primer right here over the elf one it was 63 to 37 so we're gonna go ahead and use that i'm gonna use a brush to apply it so for foundation it was between the elf foundation and the covergirl one and you guys chose the elf so i'm going to be using what is it called the elf flawless finish foundation in pearl yeah in pearl that's what it looks like um i only use this one so i can't i don't really have an opinion on it that's why i kind of put it in this so i can try to test it out so that's what we're going to be doing today for concealer, like I said, you guys chose the Tarte Concealer over the Too Faced Concealer and you chose the Fenty Translucent Powder over the Airspun Translucent Powder, so we're going to be using that. I'm also going to be using my trusty Wet n Wild um, Contour Stick and Maple. I didn't ask you guys to choose a cream contour, but I feel like cream contouring. I'm also talking really fast, so sorry about that. So this foundation is actually pretty small. That's what it looks like. I also have big hands, so it might look even tinier. But it has a pump, so I'm gonna go ahead and pump some on the back of my hand. And the consistency is pretty thick. It's like hard to come out of the pump. It has uh, an old lady perfume smell. So that's fun. hard to move it around and like it's pretty sheer the coverage not sheer maybe light because it kind of does something but not too much 
I'm not crazy about how my skin looks right now, so I'm gonna try to take a little bit more and add maybe another layer on my cheeks. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be a light coverage, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, I added a second layer. It did build up a little, but I can still see like my beauty marks on my face, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal using the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, before I set it, I'm gonna go ahead and just contour a little with my Wet n Wild stick, like I said. This is also gonna kind of show how it layers other products, the foundation, so. I'm gonna take my Fenty powder and just go ahead and set my concealer with it. Okay, next for bronzer, I asked you if you wanted me to use a shimmery bronzer or a matte bronzer, and you guys chose matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Kylie Cosmetics Khaki Bronzer. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a cool toned, a little bit of a cool toned bronzer, and it's very messy, so I'm just gonna clean that up. because I posted a picture with it all messy, and I was like, why did I do that? I didn't even try to clean it. For blush, 77% of you chose peach, so I'm gonna do that. I just wanna choose, should I do, should I make it really like shimmery or should I keep it matte? I'm gonna do a shimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Milani Blush in Luminoso. Everyone knows about this blush, it's super pretty. The only thing, it could be really pigmented, so I always like tap off excess and go in with a light hand. but it's so pretty, oh my gosh. For highlight, 70% of you chose a gold highlight, so the only gold highlight I have is the ABH X Amrezy highlight, so we're gonna use that. <laughs> I feel like I'm always using this highlight. I'm just gonna cut the cheeks a little, and then I'm just gonna finish up the under eyes and I'll probably just come back to you after that to do the lips so we're not wasting too much time so I'll see you guys in a bit all right so I'm back I went ahead and did my lower lashes I added some mascara and I also added a little bit of purple liner which I use the NYX vivid brights pomade liner and it's this really nice purple so I just used that um, I tried to clamp together my lashes but this one was stuck on like a little bit higher so I'm not gonna try to take it off and put it back on again. Anyways, let's move on to the lips. For lips, I asked either nudes or colorful, and you guys said nudes. And I asked if I should add a gloss, and you guys said yes. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I have a bunch of lip products, and I don't know which one to use, so please hold. <laughs> okay, I'm back. We're gonna do this quick before my camera dies. I went in with my Morphe Baxi Love lip liner, and I messed up the lip line, so I had to overline. Now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe lipstick in Honey and it's like a pure nude and it's a little bit of a darker nude. So we're gonna go in with that. It's a little bit of a brown nude actually. And I'm just gonna kind of blend it out. Can I speak before I do things? I'm gonna blend it out with my finger a little bit so it's less opaque. I'm just gonna use all Morphe, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Gloss in Flower Crown and put it in the center. Ooh, okay, and that's a look. And I also already set my face because it was looking a little powdery. I'm just gonna set my eyebrows and we're done. So I'm gonna come up close and show you some close-ups. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, I tried this cute little hairstyle. Um, I did like two little pigtails here and pulled my hair back. Kind of into it, it kind of looks cute. I wish I had like shorter hairs that I can pull out, but I don't, so 
yeah anyways uh like i said i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a comment down below and let me know what other videos you want to see me watch not watch film what well, you want to watch what i should film also follow me on instagram if you're not already so you can participate in future videos like this and that's about it so i'll see you guys next video bye guys